you are a bold and courageous person, afraid of nothing. High on a hilltop near your home, there stands a dilapidated old mansion. Some say the place is haunted, but you don't believe in such well, things. I'm to for some Halloween candy online with Walmart. And last year, I did quite a bit of this, all these uh, Halloween candies. They didn't really do too much this year. They had uh, Ghoulish Green, Reese's, no, was it Reese's? No, Snickers, M&M's, and Twix. This was last year's Halloween candy that I try. Is just a clip from last year's Halloween. Orange, white, green, chocolate. So here we got this Hershey's. See, I like when they do all this stuff, you know? <laughs> and um, I also got um, this for my grandson. They had the haunted house. Because, you know, I thought about that back in the day, like gingerbread houses, because we used to make gingerbread houses, me and my kids, when they were little, back in the 80s. And I said, they should do a haunted house one. Well, I, I did make one. And now you can buy them and put them together. So I got this one for Sapo, my grandson. And I got Sussy Pops. Halloween. If you notice... They gave me a lot of orange and chocolate ones, which are my favorite. They should have just had Halloween colors. I get with the program, people. We like, we still, we're still like children inside, you know? We still like that kind of... And then I got these. Let's <laughs> change the subject. The problem with these is they're not orange inside. They should have been orange. I thought this would make, you know... I mean, you get so many. I need some pumpkin coffee. That's another thing, too, is that uh, Dunkin' Donuts is not on point either. Like, what is going on, people? Um, last year, or was it 2019, they had gingerbread coffee. And so, well, you can make your own, and I can show you how to do that. Um, in the coffee maker, because, you know, if you didn't couldn't find pumpkin spice coffee, you can make your own. Like I said, you know, use uh, McCormick. And, uh... There was some cinnamon in there, you know. And uh, you can put these in there. Star anise. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And uh, whole cloves. A lot of Hispanic people use these a lot. I mean, I'm saying that like I'm not one, but I didn't know they used them that much. Like, I love the smell. Like, oh my God, my grandmother made this uh, hanger thing, craft thing, that she would put um, little pouches and she'd put these in, and, or in cinnamon, and then this one here, the star. And you have to, and, and you get near it, and um, uh, there's one missing, there's one more, clove, ginger. Ginger's missing. And so, and you put these in, and then you, if you smell the pouches, and they were tied up on a rope, it was very country, you know, something like, something like this here. And, um, and you go, you smell, and it's just heavenly, man. Well, when you make the gingerbread, when you make the gingerbread coffee, I mean, you use the ingredients that you would make gingerbread with. You just don't, not gonna put flour in that. You just put the, the seasonings, you know? And, um, it smells up the whole house and then the gingerbread coffee. <laughs> Hello? So anyways, I wanted to, um, see my, see the, the thing with these little, these little cookies for trick or treaters is that, man, these are thin. But, um, they don't have orange in the middle. Like, come on now, you know? That's what makes me common into the shop. Okay, so... Everything's so hard to open. So, you 
to get all these uh, full-size candy bars. Last year they had white pumpkins and ghosts, Reese's. I went through all of them. Of course, I lost that channel, so don't go looking for it again there. Here she is. Oh. Halloween props. No oh, chocolate. Now, last year, with the Reese Cups, they had the thin green on it on the bottom. Well, it's not usually, but you don't. I've been deceived. I had all those candies. Every one that came out last year for Halloween that were um, white chocolate, orange, and green, I had them. I wish I still had those videos. But, um, they're not giving us what we want. Do I make some coffee? I got some New York cheesecake pumpkin flavor in there. That was expensive. $17 for a... Uh, I'll show you. This is real cheesecake. It cost me $17. I'm halfway done with it. I'm gonna have that for breakfast with some coffee. But I didn't know I picked pumpkin flavor. I just wanted a plain cheesecake and pumpkin. And it defeats the purpose. I didn't know what other flavors they had because I thought they were just all cheesecake. Regular original cheesecake. But uh, yeah, this was 17 bucks. This is real, real New York cheesecake. This is not um, the stuff that you have a recipe for. With the crust, these don't have crust. That's the best cheesecake. And Italian cheesecake is awesome too. Just gotta go to the bakery for that. Mm. That's pretty much my day. Morning, I should say. I'm gonna start the coffee. And um, dunk a few Halloween cookies in there. Which I had sent away for some cookies that you can have edible markers and you can draw on them. So me and my grandson will be doing that. Edible markers. I'm a former cake decorator. That's nice. They didn't have those in our, my day. But um, we used to have the spray, food spray, and so we used to have a blast with that. And um, some chocolate pumpkin cookies with orange filling inside those, but I have to make them. I couldn't resist. And uh, that's about it. I didn't buy any frozen Pillsbury cookies and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm a baker. I can make all that stuff. But um, it's just nice to get it to, because it's, you know, it's work. And so if you can buy it and it's, and it's you know, good quality, I'd go for it. <laughs> Disappointing. It's just, a, just have a... Uh, Spooky eyes and bats. I mean, come on, man. No green lining. We're all a kid's eye. We still want that adventure. Yes, we still want that experience. Oh, and they have doggy trees now for Halloween. They're coming to get you, Barbara. 